If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you recorded some footage with your camera, you put the SD card in your computer, and now you can't find any of the videos, you can't find any of the files on the SD card, you don't know what's going on, you don't know where your videos went, you're probably freaking out, trust me, I've been there and it absolutely sucks. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you a very common solution to this issue. Now, I can't guarantee this will help everybody out that's having this issue. However, this is a very common issue and I'm guessing this will help a majority of people watching this. So I'm just gonna get right into this fix. However, if this does help you out in any way, shape or form, please consider dropping a like, subscribing and leaving a nice comment. All right, so without further ado, let's hop onto my laptop and check it out. Go ahead and go into the SD card folder right here, and there's gonna be all these different folders here. Now yours might have a different amount or slightly different names, but what you're gonna look for is this private folder. Now if there isn't a private folder, you can go through your other ones, but still look for this right here. It's called AVCHD, but it's typically gonna just be in the private folder here. So go into the private folder, go over to the AVCHD file, but you're not gonna wanna click on this. You're not gonna double click. What you're actually gonna do is right click on the AVCHD and go down to show package contents. Once you get that, it'll open up this new folder inside of AVCHD and it'll show BDMV. What you're gonna do is actually the same thing with that. Don't double click on it, just right click, show package contents, and then it'll show you even more folders. At this point, what you're gonna do is go to the stream folder. Now, if you don't see anything in the stream folder, check any other folders that are in here but it's most likely gonna be in the stream folder. And then once you click on that, you're finally gonna get to all the video files you recorded with your camera. Now, I really hope this works for you, and I honestly don't even know why this is a thing. It's mostly with MacBooks and with a specific type of camera. So typically Sony cameras or even Panasonic cameras, but it really can be all sorts of different types of cameras. But again, I really hope this helped you out. If it did, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and leaving a comment. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.